Is this thing on? Hello? Oh, alright. It's rolling. Okay, I need to adjust it quick. Alright, and flashlight, go. Hey, so today is December 22nd, 2012. It's the aftermath of the apocalypse. I am hungry, thir thirsty, food supply ran out, no water, no power for the past couple of hours. It's terrible. Zombies are running around outside. I can't go anywhere. So, I'm really bored. I have nothing to do. And so, I, to keep me entertained and happy, possibly, might as well tell you my trip to New York. Let's start with the airport, shall we? Okay, so, <clears throat> I arrive at Newark Airport. Um, after a really long walk uh, to the baggage claim, I was welcomed. And then, um, I pose for a few more photos and all, and then I get my bag. It was like one of the first few that came to come out, so I was lucky, sort of. Like how I'm lucky right now. I wonder how my friends are doing back home. Anyway, um, so as we're about to head home, I try out Sonic and White Castle because we don't have it back home. It's pretty good. Unfortunately, I kind of got a word from friends that the zombies took over White Castle, so I guess no more White Castle for me. Uh, so, we, got, we get home. Um, I, I eat all the Sonic and White Castle and Titadori's pasta. Yeah, okay. Um, so, that, after all that, um... I watch TV. Uh, I watched SNL with Martin Short and Paul McCartney. Uh, they're so funny, especially Paul, because you know he's my favorite. I can't do this. Oh, sorry. Okay. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So yeah. Um, so I didn't get home, didn't go to sleep until one, but it's okay. I I I'm I was slightly jet lagged that night, so I treated it like it was eleven o'clock. Anyway, um, the day after that, I um went to church. Uh, had dinner theater after that. Uh, by watching The Hobbit, such a long movie. Oh my god. Um. And, yeah, it was fun, but it, it was still a good movie. Martin Freeman's amazing, and Ian McKellen, McClellan, I, I don't know. He plays Gandalf. Um, and then Monday, uh, let's see, Monday. Oh, uh, not much, really. Just stayed home, uh, worked on my Anderson gift, and all that. Prepare for the apocalypse. Okay, I realize that I'm kind of stalling you guys, so uh, might as well just talk about me in the city. Um, so w when I got to the city, uh, the first thing I saw was Madison Square Garden. Um, it, it's n nice exterior. Uh, One, One Direction World was right next to there. Um, I heard some zombies invaded that place. Madison Square Garden and, um, One Direction World. I wonder what they watch there. Zombie basketball. Hockey. Is it hockey season? I don't know. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I, I have no idea if they destroyed the place or not, but they sure did occupy it, along with Wall Street, which we went to um, after settling into our hotel with this super nice view.
Um, so anyway, Union Square. Uh, when we got there, there was like this market, um, full of, uh, like winter wear and other things that would help s stack up for the apocalypse. Uh, we were kind of stupid enough not to buy it, you know, being thrifty on the money and everything. Uh, so, yeah, um, when we uh, got to Union Square, we ate at this place called Max Brenner's Chocolate. The chocolate's so nice. Like, they had uh, hot chocolate put in this thing called a hug mug. Um, where you'd, hang on, you'd get, you get a mug shaped like a, like a oval with a tip on it, and you have to hug it like this, you can't do it with your fingertips or something, you have to like actually hug it so you feel the warmth, and apparently um, your senses will be filled with it, like all of your senses, and it'll make the chocolate tastier, and apparently it worked. Um, it, it, it was good, so yeah. And then um, our main entry came, I had a fish taco, and then came dessert where they had this thing called chocolate pizza. Where it's chocolate, bananas, and I think roasted marshmallows. It's basically like a sm like s'mores, but with bananas. And it really, oh my god, it's so good. Oh, really wish I could have one right now, but city's off limits. Because they're, like, cleaning up all the zombies and everything. So, yeah. <sighs> After that, I went to New York University. It's where um, a lot of people attend, like Jimmy Fallon interns, and I think Colin Dillon Sprouse go there. Uh, so, yeah, that's cool. Planning on going there. I took a self guided tour with Tita Boo while um, Tita Doi stayed behind and um, hung out at. Washington Park, um, which is centered in the university. Um, yeah, I, I like the college. It's like within the city. So basically, New York is like your campus. So a self-guided tour. And um, yeah, I, I took a self-guided tour there. Uh, and... Um, so I saw, like, the library, um, the bookstore with the College of Nursing in it. Like, the College of Nursing and the bookstore are in the same room. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, New York University, yeah. Totally going on my college app to-do list <laughs> next year. So, anyway... Um, after NYU, the three of us, me, Tita Dori, and Tita Boo, pilgrimage to, um, Anderson Cooper's favorite ice cream place on Bleecker Street. It's called Cones. Um, I, when we got there, I tried, um, Anderson's favorite ice cream, the Dulce de Leche ice cream. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I liked it, not being biased, really, like, it, it actually was good. Yeah, uh, that was fun, and I basically ended my day there. We got back to the hotel, had New York pizza for dinner, which is so big. So cheesy and so good. Oh my gosh, please don't let the supply of New York pizza die. Oh.
Okay. <sighs> okay. Uh, and then came a sleepless night full of excitement because the day after that, I got to see Anderson live. Yay. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, um, about Anderson Live, okay, I've got this mem- I've got the story memorized. So, Anderson Live, I wake up at 3.30 in the morning because I, I just couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't sleep. I am way too excited. Um, so, yeah, I, I chill on my phone, um, spend some time thinking about today like how it turned out and then came time for me to get ready uh we take a cab there um we we arrive at uh west 57th street between 10th and 11th avenue um around 6:25 and then we look for the studio i look around i see the anderson live awning um and I, I point to where it is, we cross there, and I'm already crying, and it's just the awning. Come on. Um, and so while we wait, uh, Titibu goes to like a local restaurant. Gets me some tea, um, some food for her and Tita Dori. And then when it's like 7 o'clock, we're finally let in. And we wait in a room to sign our um, release forms. And then... Um, I, I'm sorry, I don't know her name. It's, it's a really fancy name. Um, but she works beside, I, I think she's one of the producers, she, she works beside Terrence, the executive producer of the show, um, and she asked the people in that waiting room, like, if anyone had anything for Anderson, and, or, like, a song, a, a gift, or whatever, and I, uh, along with the help of Tita Boo and Tita Dori wave my hand like crazy. And she goes to us and I tell her everything I have for her. Like, I run a campaign for um, his stage manager, Kevin. Um, I have Polvoron and Sampaluk for him. <clears throat> and Kevin and Terrence and um, Stephanie. Uh, she is the web producer um, who act who made me interact with Anderson for the past few months possible. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, she, she's, she then takes a picture of me for reference and tells the lady to take me, Tita Dori, and Tita Boo up to the front row, which is legit the last thing I expect at all. Um, and then... We're taken upstairs to the studio. We wait in another room. And then they get our release forms. And we're let inside the studio. I'm the first one to step in. And when I first step in, like, the first person I see is Kevin sitting on the couch. On one of the couches. Um, and so a lady leads us to a couch behind Kevin. That's where we were going to sit. And so, um... Right now, and then, so, this unfollow, this, this happens. Okay, pretend this is me, pretend this is Kevin, okay? So, uh, when, the moment I sit down on the couch uh, assigned to us, um, I'm all like, Kevin? And then, uh, Kevin turns around, sees me, and says, Hey, your face is, my face is on your shirt. And I'm like, yeah. And then we start talking um, to him. Like, we talk about Sandy Hook. 
and Kevin asks me about school and where I'm from, and he's so down to earth. Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Okay, so, um, then we ask Kevin if we can get a picture, and he's like, I have a better idea. Um, and he takes me to the Anderson Life photo booth, and we snap these pictures. And then, um, what, oh, and then I give him his gift. Um, and turns out he likes Filipino food, so I'm good. Um, suddenly everyone starts, uh, coming in the studio, and then, uh, as everyone settled in, Terrence, the executive producer, who's, like, so cool, like, BFF worthy, um, comes in, I see him, I'm mentally screaming in my head his name, and, um... And and then he sees me, and, and and he says hi Ellie, and I'm like oh my god I'm not Ellie, oh why did you get my name wrong? What? Well, well okay I just stopped oh um, I stopped with oh my god I'm not Ellie, but inside my head I said that. Um, and then uh, ter and then after that like Terrence goes over to me and gives me a hug and he smells so nice. <laughs> it's not even like that bad cologne. It's the good cologne. Oh my god. Like, every time Terrence just walks by, I'm like, yeah. Because <laughs> he's got a nice smell. Um, and then, uh, like, he, uh, and then, um, the show starts. Anderson comes in. And I've got a smile from here to here on my face. Um, and... Then, uh, like, I really don't want to get into detail because the episode will air later on and it's going to be way too long. So, um, when, uh, like the last five minutes of the show, um, Terrence tells Anderson, uh, a, a, like to go to me, like, and, and then, um, okay, here we go again. This time, this isn't Kevin, this is Anderson. And this time, I am still the notebook. Alright, so this conversation unfolds. Anderson, he's got like that, oh shoot, it's you smile. Um, and goes over to me, <laughs> and he shakes my hand, er, there. Uh, and... Uh, he asked me, what What are you doing for the holidays? And I'm like, seeing you. And then he, like, blushes his, his, with his pale face and everything. And then the take starts, and I give him the Sambalok. Um, he was supposed to share with his co-host, but he didn't. Because all he did was, like, chomp down on it. Which kind of kills it, because if he took it with a little piece, he it would have been sour, and I would have seen his face go like that. And I wanted that to happen. So then with the pulverone, I just broke it in half, um, just to make sure his co-host gets one. And his co-host says it's cho it's tastes like shortbread. Anderson says taste, it tastes like chalk. And then after that, Anderson gives me a hug, and I don't, like, go for 30 seconds. I'm, like, taking it all in on stuff. And, yeah. And, really, I was hoping for a sour face, though. Terrence was hoping for a sour face. Because before um, the take and before Anderson went to me, he asked me about the food. And when I told him that some look was, like, sour than sweet... Um, he was like, okay, let's see his face when he does this and stuff. And then, after, like, shooting a few promos and stuff, I'm led to the photo booth with Anderson, and we take this photo. Apparently, cell phones are not allowed to be on, unless if you're in the tweet seats, um, during the show, and... Apparently, rebellious Tita Boo took these photos.
And then, um, oh, uh, after the photo booth, um, Anderson hugs me one more time. This time he didn't want to let go. So, basically, we need each other. Ah, ship it. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's Anderson Live for you. After Anderson Live, we, um, went to the 9-11 Memorial. Um, it, it's actually a really beautiful, um, tribute and place. Like, uh, I, I just can't describe it, so mm, you might as well just see pictures of it here. And then for Lunar, um, we went to Serendipity 3, it, also another place in Vegas. Like, I, I, I see it around a lot. It's close to Caesar's Palace or something. And I, I have no idea why I've never tried it before. It's actually a really good place, only to get dessert. Um, like, the meal entries, they were okay, but the dessert's really good, like frozen hot chocolate. and everything so uh yeah four stars would recommend um and that basically concluded my second day in nyc we get to rockefeller center around like 11 And, um, uh, what else? Okay, so, around 11, um, I shop at the NBC Experience store. Um, I get monologue tickets for Jimmy Fallon. Um, and Tita Blue and Tita Dory get, uh, a ticket for me to take the NBC studio tour. After some shopping at the NBC Experience store, we ate. I had a sandwich, um, and then I go up back to the NBC Experience Store to take the tour. Everything about the tour was okay, but the only thing that really stood out and was actually worth it was seeing Studio 8H, where Saturday Night Live, Saturday Night Live is filmed. Like, it, it's... It's just like the Anderson Live set. It's really beautiful in real life. A little smaller. Um, and, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, someday I, I want to watch there. And who knows? Maybe I might even participate. But that's not idealistic. But, you know, you'll never know. I've, I've got my alternate universes. Um, so... Yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't get pictures of Jimmy Fallon nor the SNL studio because uh, NBC doesn't allow taking photos because they have, like, the rights to it and everything. So, yeah, um, that that's cool. Uh, after this tour, um, Dita Boo and I lined up to watch the monologue rehearsal. Um, after waiting and waiting and waiting, I finally got inside Jimmy's studio, Studio 6B. Um, it's a really beautiful set. It, I, it, it's like the Anderson Live and SNL studio set. It's so pretty. Like, um, the, the, bl the blue curtain behind him is even bluer than I thought. Um, and when Jimmy came out, oh my god. <laughs> oh, he's so, he's so cute in real life. And he's real like Anderson and stuff. And, yeah, and then we, wa we watched him practice his monologue. Um, 
And then he also did his hashtag challenge on Twitter. Uh, and that was it. So, after Rockefeller Center... Oh, wait. Before we left Rockefeller Center, um, Nintendo World was nearby. Um, I got, like, a couple, I got, like, one Pokemon thing, which was the Squirtle, and one, uh, and then I got, like, a, a Goomba Laplander, um, and a Nintendo World scarf, just for a souvenir of it, um, and then, uh, I, oh, I also tried the Wii U. It, it's not a bad console. Um, like, I thought, I didn't want to get it because I thought it'd be lame, but it's not that bad. Like, I played, uh, Rayman on it, and it, it's like, you're, you're on the tablet at one time, and then the next thing you're playing on the TV. Uh, like, I, I think that's pretty cool. So, yeah, um... What's after that? Um, after Nintendo World, uh, we went, we, uh, took a detour to Times Square, uh, we got a few M&Ms. Oh, I'm so hungry. I think I ate that all, because, like, apocalypse-related kind of thing. Um, and so, uh, yeah, uh, we actually took this thing called a pedicab where it's like one dude just bikes it, it's like a tricycle but not like motorized so yeah apparently he can handle carrying us and our luggage and our bags so um, yeah, bravo to that guy. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe zombies took him, I don't know. Um, so he took us to Madison Square Garden again, uh, cause that's where our station is. Um, and then after that, we got home. And that's pretty much my trip to New York. Okay, one more thing before I leave. Um, so... Apparently, uh, Tito Boo and Tito Dori noticed this one little habit I had, and they took a picture of it. I, I'm on my phone a lot. Uh, it, maybe it's like uploading um, my New York progress on Instagram, or like tweeting checking nothing on Facebook, going on my blog, all that. Um, so, yeah, that that's what it was. I wasn't texting anyone. It's kind of sad, because um, I have unlimited texting, yet I barely text anyone. I bet the phone company's laughing at me right now. Um, so, yeah, uh, and I just needed to point that out there. Anyway, um, Merry Christmas, guys. And hope to see you soon, if the zombies don't take me.